Morning everyone. Um, I'm Claire from Cookston Crafts and I'm going to just assume today that um, you haven't met me before. Um, I feel like I say the same things over and over again so um, I apologise that for advance. Um, I'm really chuffed to be part of Yorkshire Yarn Fest again. Um, I took part back in January and it was a brilliant way of connecting with, uh, with you all and this time I've got a couple of Earth Day yarns since that was our theme for for this particular festival. Um, I, I can see a few people joining now, that's great. So I took my inspiration for the Earth Day um, theme from a local beach. So I'm based in Aberdeenshire in North East Scotland and we had, uh, we had a week of awful snow the first week of the kids' holidays. And then we had a glorious week of sunshine. Um, still cold here, but I drew some inspiration from a day we had at the beach and came up with this Earth Day yarn. But I wanted to show you the different, I've done two different dye techniques. Um, I recently wrote a blog post on this and about how to read a skein of yarn so that you can tell what it's going to look like. I think it's probably one of the questions I'm asked the most is, um, what's it going to look like knitted up. So the blog post goes into a little bit more detail about how the loop of yarn works but this particular one is going to work for um, it's a, kind of a, a gradient so you're going to get a kind of pooling effect, a colour pooling. Um, I also dyed up this one because this is probably my favoured technique um, and it's a highly variegated yarn with lots of speckles. That's what I love dyeing the most. Um, so this one is using exactly the same dyes but in a more random colour placement so that you're going to get much less colour pooling. You hope that you can see the speckles there. Um, Oh, some people saying they've got a pixelated screen, sorry. Um, I'm, I'm just going to keep going with the hope that the video at the end will record fine and it will be on IGTV to watch back later. So these are both the Earth Day yarns that are available and they I've done a limited amount of those today um, that are ready to buy on the website, which is www.cookstoncrafts.com. Um, and... They're also available, don't worry if they sell out, um, they are also available on a variety of bases on, on a pre-order basis. So I did this back in January and it worked really well. Um, I just automatically wound these again, I've been doing this all week, winding skeins of yarn because I've got lots of new colours to show you. Some of them you might see behind me. So the pre-order will stay open until Wednesday next week. And then over the course of the next seven to ten days, I'll dye all your orders up and um, get them sent out to you. So, as I say, I'll show you all of the colour options in that pre-order in just a second. But I've brought a few products here to show you. Um, one of the things that I'm dead excited about, um, I like to work with local businesses. I see a few people saying, finally, a, a local person to me. So, it's great. Um... I've got these yarn bowls available. So my friend Natalie um, runs the Bee Crafty Studio and it's literally five minutes away from, from my workshop space. So traditionally I have taught workshops in here and hand dyed was always just an add-on. Um, but as you'll see, it's kind of taken over the business completely. So what I wanted to do was create a lovely, creative, a welcoming space that people can come and enjoy classes and meet other crafters and be inspired by each other and I'm dead excited that we're getting to open up again on Wednesday so I'll be open every Wednesday and one Saturday every month uh, the first Saturday of the month and um, so if you do want to visit Aberdeenshire I know that that will be a fair trek for some of you Um, a few people saying they love this sweater so this is the Bolin sweater uh, by Layla Raven. I knitted it last year um, and it's a really interesting construction because it started from the middle and worked out the way, so it's sideways. Um, so it's got this lovely lace section at the top. Um, right, where was I at? Workshops. I've launched a couple of workshops online 
Um, I didn't do a huge amount of those during lockdown. We've um, tended to meet on Zoom and have more kind of social knit and natters. Um, but I have taught a couple of sock knitting classes and um, that another one was launched this morning and there's also a brioche workshop as well. And I've been finding that the workshops have been, the online workshops have been going really well. Um, it's nice to be able to have the recorded images to watch back afterwards. So uh, for the time being, until things let up a little, I will continue to teach online classes. But back to yarn. Um, I've got lots of the new colourways which I'll take you over to and they're on a variety of bases um, and I also have lots of 50 gram skeins of yarn as well so I've got um, I've done a little grey fade so this is the palest one going right through to this really dark one here maybe there's a one no there's one darker than this actually that's on the table this isn't my norm this is me out of my comfort zone um, with some neon colours. I prefer much more kind of um, tonal colours that um, I see someone else is in. Uh, we had an Aberdeen shirt at present. Oh, brilliant. Um, it's a lovely place to visit. We're very lucky where we live. And I draw a lot of inspiration for my colourways from the nature around me. Um, so one that's a little bit more muted and I have got a sample knitted up. I was going to show you is this one. This one's called Fluorite. Um, it's on an Aran base. It's got lots of speckles through it. And it's also available on four ply, ready to go. And this is on the pre-order too. But I wanted to show you it crocheted. So this is um, a free cowl pattern. If you head over to the website, um, I've got quite a few free patterns available there. And it's sometimes quite nice to see it crocheted. And it's a really simple pattern add in two so quick for presents um, and then this is it knitted I did a little headband you can see I haven't even sewn in the ends yet um, but you get an idea of how the kind of random colour placement will work with a scheme like that the final thing I'm going to show you before I take you on a tour around the workshop is the treat boxes so last year I started working with um, a few local businesses where we put together little treat boxes. Um, they've been hugely popular. Uh, I don't know if any of you guys have had one in the past, but great for treating other people, a nice surprise in the post or just yourself. Um, so you'll get a surprise skein of yarn. And what I do every month is provide like a picture so that you get an idea of the color theme. And this is the one for May. So there's lots of tropical green leaves and there's some peachy tones and this hummingbird. Sorry, I know that's shining a lot on there. Am I planning on starting in-person classes again? Yeah, absolutely. Um, as soon as we're allowed to. I've heard that mid-May um, is when we might be able to, but to be honest, I'm going to hold off. I'm not going to rush into it. I'm going to spend a bit of time um, obviously dying up orders. I've then got the treat boxes to go. So I would say by June. Um, we'll be able to um, risk assess it again um, because it's changing so quickly all the time. Right, I'm going to um, move along and show you some of the colourways. So bear with me a second. Uh, let me turn you round. So this is the workshop space in case you haven't seen it before. So usually we have, we usually, don't look at the mess. Um, we usually have two long tables in here, but I think it'll be a long time before we'll be able to do this. Um, but this is where I teach the workshops from. But these are the colourways that are available on the pre-order. Um, Joyce is asking, do I have suggested patterns for the treat boxes? Yes, I always give some pattern ideas. It's really hard to have a pattern every time, but I try to include at least two or three knitting or crochet um, patterns. Um, Someone saying, what mess? It's lots of ties on the floor and uh, yarn that I've wound for people. So this is the Earth Day yarn and you've got the gradient or the variegated one. This one here is called Into the Deep. This one is Crystal Water, um, inspired by the beautiful clear water we get on the West Coast. Um, this one is Fluorite, which you saw earlier on. 
Um, this one here is really nice and fresh um, for springtime. It's called Hyacinth Bouquet and it's got lots of pinks through it and it works really nicely with this raspberry pink um, that's new as well. So I tend to try, this is my favoured technique is the variegated ones, but I also um, try to always include some tonals as well, but I love to add a little speckle. So it's, it's kind of a semi-solid colour, but you will get uh, speckles um, breaking it up too, and you'll see tiny little ones in this raspberry. I just, it keeps my interest when I'm knitting. This next one is, isn't my usual colours at all. Um, this is Tropic. And then we've got Periwinkle, Cornflower, Mushroom, Eucalyptus, Fir, um, Sand, Zing, Fig, Raspberry, Burnished Leaves and Aubergine. So they are all available to pre-order on any of these bases. So I've got all the way from Chunky, Aaron, Double Knit. There's a four ply with a sparkle. My regular four ply um, merino nylon. This is a merino silk fingering weight. Um, this is the Suri Alpaca, um, also fingering weight. I've got mohair silk. And then I've got this beautiful alpaca lace weight as well, alpaca and silk. Um, I'm yap yap yapping and I'm running out of time but I really wanted to show you these gorgeous yarn bowls that I just took in yesterday um so these are all the choices a lot of them have gone already but we will get more um definitely they're just beautiful look at this one with all the different colors um through it absolutely love these um and then we'll head back over and I'll very quickly show you this end of the room. So this is kind of uh, where I keep all of my regular stock. Um, I do have a fair bit of double knit. Um, I can't remember if I mentioned um, free delivery this weekend. So just use Yorkshire Yarn Fest. One final thing that I'm going to mention is I've got lots of these 50 gram skeins. And I have a kit available for the new trig point shawl that Maddie Harvey has put together um, and she calls for two 100 gram skeins but you immediately separate them into 50s so these would be ideal for this um, so you can mix and match these are all on the website as spring brights and you can it's just a drop down to select the different colors that you would like um, I do also have a fair bit of lace yarn here um, this is where I keep all the haberdashery kind of stuff. Needles, I tend to stock Knit Pro needles. I've got some Clover crochet hooks. Um, there are some Knit Pro Zing sets. And then I've also got a little bit of Coco Knits um, products as well. I've got the Caddy, the Stitch Stoppers, Stitch Markers and the Maker's Keep. I do stock a little bit of commercial yarn but it's not something that I'll be doing longer term it was kind of for last year when we were in lockdown and we were struggling to get yarn locally so this cotton here this is all four ply cotton it's all discounted on the website too um right I'll take you back across and I'll check if there are any questions here um Aubergine, love the names. Yeah, uh, mushroom is very slightly purple lilac. Let me show you it actually um, in the Susura sweater. I never showed you this part of the workshop. So this is where I keep sample knits so that you can see all of the yarns knitted up. There is a discount code. It's all one word, Yorkshire Yarn Fest in capital letters. And... This is um, the Susura sweater and this is the colour mushroom. So you're probably, with it next to purple, it's probably bringing out more of the purple tones to it. Um, this was my most recent knit and I'm yet to decide whether to continue. I think I might do full length sleeves. Um, but these are some of the sample knits um, that I do wear all the time, to be honest. 
Um, this is another fave as well if you're looking for a really um, quick pattern. Once you've knitted it once, you will definitely want to knit it again. It's the Ranunculus sweater. Um, and believe it or not, I knitted this with one skein of lace yarn. So it's done on six millimetre needles and it works up um, really quickly because it's got such an open gauge. So I would highly recommend that one. Right, I think that's me at time. So a little bit close there. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, and here is my Instagram handle, the website, and then that discount code as well. Um, and if you've got any questions at all, please just drop me a message. Um, I'll be online all day today. And um, I look forward to chatting to any of you um, later. Sorry if I've missed any comments. This just goes pa past so quickly. Um, but I'm going to head off now. Thank you very much. I'll uh, enjoy the rest of your day.